Konnichiwa! Welcome everybody back to another Chrono Review Special. And this time it's the yearly end of the year anime collection video where I show off how much the collection have grown over the years and over the past year. As well as showing a little bit of other collections, how they have grown like Aliens and Predators and Godzilla. And I must say it's been a hell of a ride since I started in 2010. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure exactly what I did expect as far as the collection growing because I started off pretty small with a few figmas, one or two scale figures the first year. But over the years now I have like 100 figmas and that <laughs> is a lot. Figma is still my main collection and they are smaller so they are easier to store. I'm trying to be more restrictive with my scale figures because they take up more space. And overall I have not finished 100% yet with the layout of my displays and all that in the new apartment or new and new. I lived here for two years now but I have fixed a fixed space for everything because this apartment's mine. The other ones was like temporary apartments when I studied and when I worked with animation in our other town and but this time it's a permanent until I choose to move. And I do plan to upgrade by getting a bigger place in the future but as for now this will do. So let's just start checking all the stuff. This year I did buy a little bit more manga than usual I started buying all the volumes for Trigon. I still have the other half to go, but I really look forward to to reading this because I am so curious on how the original source actually are. Because I love the anime and I know actually the anime was based upon the two first thick volumes, which was three volumes in Japan and two in the US and then adapted an ending and as far as I know Trigon Maximum which is the remaining 14 volumes actually follows similar to the anime so I think they respected the um, the outcome of it but 14 volumes versus anime being based on two volumes or three actually that needs to be a lot of new content in there I also bought the Hitsugi no Shaika, uh, Shaika the Coffin Princess manga and a few volumes of New Game in Japan because I wanted to try to read them because I want to get back into studying Japanese I, I'm not very good at it because I just started a little but I wanted to have something to tempt me to get back into it and there is also my usual art books I think I've shown them before the Valkyria ones and those. There's also one Shakugan Shana art book I bought in Japan when I was in Mandarake. The Alien and Predator collection I have in the apartment currently, that's not brought here from my old room, is not much as it stands right now. I plan to do some extension shelves uh, up here above those and further over there to go get my full collection, but as of now, there's just the Alien Aliens uh, Genocide 2-pack from the comic that NECA released. And there is the Alien Warrior from Aliens and the original Alien from the first film. As well as the Engineers from Prometheus. And they're standing on top of my DVD shelf, like here are signed DVD box of Alien and Star Wars. Here's the Jurassic Park DVD and VHS collection here and Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street some Blu-ray and VHS and a lot of DVDs the two top shelves are anime and then there is Godzilla and King Kong movies and Alien and Predator and sci-fi and here is two shelves for smaller figures they will be placed on a wall later and uh, they will be, just like they are now, they will have all the m smaller figures that doesn't take up much space so you can display them nicely like this and there's also a Shakako no Shana, Nieto no Shana replica standing there so this is on top of my TV furniture as for now until I can hang them up and there's also my Congo Kaini 
she will be placed on another shelf later as well to have a nicer display maybe together with my model kit of Congo I bought it's nice with those scale models of warships and those things being into Warhammer hobby and all that I enjoy painting and building stuff that's just how it is um, let's take a closer look at the contents here there is Petit uh, Nendroids from Love Live all the characters including Maid uh, Kotri and there is Petit Nendroid Ranku and there is the Tales of Nendroids I reviewed earlier and there is Gashapon figures of, from Tenyo Tenge and Shakupanashan and Dokurashan and some unnamed girls I'm not sure exactly who they are I bought them on sci-fi convention, I've shown them before no not that one, that's ED from uh, from Valkyria Chronicles but those I'm not exactly sure who they are those four but if someone knows again I ask name them for me so I can know exactly what, who the girls I collect are. There's also my Papo T-Rex and a Oviraptor from Safari. That's one figure I've had for a long time. I just <laughs> decided to bring it up right now. And there's the Godzilla statues I bought from Sci-Fi Convention long ago as well. And here are some other collectibles. I got uh, a keychain Honoka. That one from a convention. But this one is interesting because I got it from the Gashapon uh, machines on top of Tokyo Skytree. There was Attack on Titan theme and I got Mikasa and I'm happy for that because it's, she's my favorite from the series. But my friend got Eren and he was like, no, not Eren. And I laughed at him. And then there is a Gashapon keychain of King Ghidorah that I got in Japan as well. And those are also like that. Those are party decorations for the glass. You can hang Shimakase from Kanta Collection on your glass or Fubuki. And there is also, I think I've shown her before, but this is my original character, Dolphy Dream, Aieka. She's a character I designed long ago, and I, I, I used her a lot in my drawings when I do character design and that. So I have concepts of her. So she's she's like my mascot. That's why I wanted to have her. She 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 summarizes my identity as an animator and character designer, and that I think is worth having a mascot character. And also here's PSP games and the My Valkyria Chronicles 2 figures, the price figures. And here is Mila Maxwell and the PS3 and PS4 games and Nintendo 64 games, some dinosaur skulls and behind there are some soundtracks, I've shown them before too. Some anime soundtracks from Gate and a Godzilla soundtrack and some consoles, DVD and Blu-ray. And here is my raptor fossil. The one I reviewed as well from the fossil series. And also, here are some actual fossils that I have got. It's an ammonite and a dromaeosaur slash raptor teeth. Those are legit fossils. It's not 100% specific which raptor type it is, but it's a raptor teeth anyway. And right here, by the raptor fossil, is my current review spot. I've never shown my actual spot like this before but this is the spot I've used for a little bit now since I've got this table and just like every time my review spot will change from now and then when I find a new configuration. I sort of like this spot because it's nice with the glass cabinet in the background but overall I think I would want a specific spot sometime with a white background being ultimate for showing details and all that. But as for now, it will change from now and then. But currently, this is the spot I use. I have rearranged a little bit in the glass cabinet since the last year, and it's minor uh, shuffling around of figures, replacing figures, putting in new figures, and all that. So, here is for a starter 
my favorite Shakukuna Shana figure to the left. Uh, I was really happy when I bought this figure back in 2011, I think it was, and I reviewed it, and I think I stated how much I love it in the review as well. And she deserves a place here in the glass cabinet. And there's also something here. Uh, since last year, the uh, Rosenberg Engel and Anastasia figure are new. The other Ranko was there last year, but I haven't reviewed it yet. And you have seen this Kotori from Love Live as well. And here we have my my Sakura figure uh, from Fates Tonight that I had since way back too. And here's something new. There is Megumin from Konosuba. And one of my recent favorite figures, Shaika from Hitsugi no Shaika. She ended up being such a good figure. The quality is so amazing. And I I did state that in the review, so if you want more details on this figure, watch the review. And here's my good old Saber figure from Fate's Day Night with also my Ilias Field von Einspern figure from Fate's Day Night. And here we have my insane Black Rock Shooter and Black Rock Shooter figures. And the real action heroes, Black Rock Shooter and Kurumi Tokisaki from Data Live. And here is two more Kurumi Tokisaki. I think the left one is new since last year. I don't exactly remember the time span, but I think she is new. And Rory Mercury. And there is definitely Tatsumaki is definitely new. And here we have my Alias figure from Valkyria Chronicles 2. She is also still one of my absolute favorite figures in the collection because of my love for the Valkyria games and her design. And then here we have my A Zone 1 to 3 scale dolls. So there's Haruhi, Susumiya, and Saber from Fate Zero. And here are my Dolph Dreams. That's the same as the last year. There's my custom Shana. The uh, official Reimu and Ranku and custom ku uh, Kurumi. Moving on to the other shelves where there are mostly scale figures and price figures. Um, these figures are standing behind glass doors which means there are barely no dust in here. Which is pretty nice actually. I almost never need to dust stuff. I think I need to do this with the Figma shelves too. But the problem is that the middle of the doors uh, obscures the uh, obstructs the uh, figures itself and with those much figmas packed on the shelves I I think I want to have a clear view on them so I'm not sure what to do but in any case uh, at here at the bottom are the Sword Art Online collection which is mainly Asuna with a little bit of Kirito, Silica and Lisbeth as well and moving up, there is the Idol collection, which is um, the Idol Master Ranku, Kansaki at the side, and then there is Snow Halation, Honoka, and some other Love Live figures such as Honoka, Nosumi, and Kotori. And there is Love Live Sunshine at the top, and Miku, Racing Miku, and there is also from Rosario Vampire and the Gashi Kashi. And here at the top are Godzilla figures. It's the same monsters I had before here. It's Gigan, King Ghidorah, Mothra, Space Godzilla and Destroya. And moving on over here, there is Zilla, Mecha Godzilla and three other Godzillas. It's the Final Wars one and the original one and one from the 80s. And there is also, I bought in Japan, Godzilla 2000 and Shin Godzilla. Moving down back to the anime shelves, here is Vash the Stampede and Suikaku from Kantai Collection. There are my Toho figures of Komachi, Sirno, and Reimu. And here are Kantai Collection again. It's E19 uh, Submarine. There is uh, Sendai, Murasame. And there's also Suikaku and Shokaku in their Kaini form. There's Fubuki, Akisuki, 
and there is the reclass battleship. And here is some Shana price figures. And Inari from Guilty Crown and two others Quiz Magic Academy and Pia Carot uh, an animal series, I think. It was such a long time since I watched those. And there is uh, Shisato Sumiyoshi and Sniper Karin. And here is Yui Hirasawa. And here is also more Kaon, Yuri Hirasawa, Ui Hirasawa, and Azusa. And moving on here, here's the actually pretty small pile compared to what it was. It's the only figures that's still not reviewed. So I will start off the year with more idols, actually. There is uh, no time to open those before New Year's because I want to review them, simply as that. So there's Love Love Sunshine and the Idol Master Cinderella Girls. Alright, it's time for the main event. The Figma collection and the posable figures on the same shelves. And I must say, this collection is so massive compared to what it was when I started off with about, I think, five or six Figma, maybe one or two more or less uh, by the end of 2010 and now I have 117 Figma I checked my my figure collection uh, profile and my list of Figma are 118 but one of them is a pre-order not arrived yet so together with the uh, pile of unopened Figmas which was six of them um, that means the, there is 111 Figma opened up and posed on these shelves. Th th that's hard to actually imagine how many this is. There is a lot of Figma on these shelves. And a few men Androids and Acta figures and Aeson dolls and I think one Rebel Tech in the Vash Stampede. So let's just check those. It's it's hard to name those characters <laughs> in a row now because there are so many, it's hard to keep track on exactly what was new or not, but I try my best to point out what's new and a few, name a few. Well, those ones on the first shelf are not new, they have been there for a few years. Uh, there's Nyarko, Inori and Haruhi, Ryoko and uh, Kagome and Mirai and Araragi and then there's the Black Rock Shoot shelf and uh, there's nothing new here I still need the animation version of Strength but it's about the only figure I'm missing from the Black Rock Shooter collection it's one of my favorite collections and I I really miss collection from it because there is nothing new like, recently so it's not much to do and here is the Madoka collection, which is the complete cast, including Ultimate Madoka. And there is Steins Gate. All of those have been there before. And here is the Nanoa collection. It's spread out in two shelves now. There's nothing new here, but the I still need the school version, like the Fate uh, to the left. Um, limited Nanoha. And there's the Axta figures. I really do miss collecting Axta because I really like these figures. Maybe the likeness is not 100% like the Figma but it's really really close and the detail and scale is bigger and nice to have posable figures in a little bit larger scale with more shading and all that and I really really hope they would re-establish this range. I doubt it but you can always wish. And here is some Nendroids. There's Rem and Ram and there is Suikaku, and there is Kurumi, Tokisaki, and there is Asuna, Blackrock Shooter, Teto, Miku, Kuturi, and Maki. And here we have the Aeson dolls, 1 to 6 scale. I have not collected any new of those since years now, but until I get more space, I think this will do. But there is Fate Stay Night, Ilya and Rin, there is Fate Extra Caster, Tamano no Mai, and there is Shana, Nyarko, and My Little Scissors Can't Be This Cute, uh, Kirino and Kuroneko. 
And then here we have the most cramped and packed of all of the, the shelves. The Fate Stay Night, or rather Type Moon shelf. This have been my largest collection because <laughs> it all started off with Fate Stay Night, with Shiro and with Rin and Saber. Saber was the first one and I fell in love with Figma when I got that one. And there's still a lot of Figma to look forward to. Uh, there is actually, what made me super happy was the announcement of Kushilain Lancer. That was something I did not expect, but it was a dream come true and I really look forward to collecting him. And there's also more, there's Jean de Arc uh, from uh, uh, Fate Apocrypha, Ruler, and there is also uh, Skatar, or how you pronounce it, which is Lancer Kushlein's mentor, and also from Grand Order. So there's a lot to look forward to in the Fate franchise, as far as Figma go. It's not the end, and there's other Figmas I still need to collect too, like Saber Bride, and there's also a new version of Saber Lily. There is Figma to catch up on if I want to have a super complete collection from Fate Stay Night and I really need to split this collection up in two as well I just press them on here for now but well I need to rearrange a little bit like take a full day a full day just reposing rearranging Figma cleaning off the shelves dusting them off a little bit and then sit down and enjoy everything and here we have Vash Stampede, um, uh, Yamaguchi Revoltech. And there is Twara no Mitsu no Index, uh, Index and Shirai and uh, Toma and Misaka. And there's Shana Figma. And there is the Idol Shelf with the Cinderella Girls, Idol Master, and Love Love Sunshine. And the full cast from Muse that I reviewed. Well, that that marathon was exhausting to do, but all those are new for the year. So is the Lala Sunshine as well, and some of those from Fate Up, I forgot to say. Many of the Fate figures are new, like Gilgamesh and uh, Caster. And then here is the Lucky Star group. I want to get the other versions too. And there is Vocaloid, and then there is the Kaon collection. I still need to get uh, Noroka. She's the last one to complete this collection. And then on the last shelf there is the Persona figures and all of those Kanta collection figures are new. And there is Sword Art Online and Attack on Titan. And at the bottom here there's just empty boxes. Alright, let's conclude this video. I must say this year has been a hell of a ride. There have been a lot of figures. I went to Japan and I really need to upload that video. I need to take some time during the next year to upload it. A little bit late, but I need to do it. And also, there have been a lot of pre-orders that are taking up all the budget the recent years. But I really want to get back into buying of Mandarake older figures like the Harry Figmas and all those that I want to catch up on because I really want to do it. And reviewing all those figures this last half of the year have been exhausting. To catch up on all my stacks of figures. Cosplay really got into a lot of time here. It still do, but I'm starting to sort it out and get back into a mixed hobby life again. And that feels nice. So next year I hope will be more relaxing as I will review figures every now and then once I get them in my mailbox and not like bulk review like I did now. I ended the year with a huge blast, a lot of figures, a lot of reviews and a marathon but next year will be a little bit more spread out, a little bit more relaxed and I look forward to that and I hope you look forward to it too because I do and I will end this by saying Happy New Year and I hope you will look forward to a new year of collecting and until next time Take care and sayonara!